Okay, what about this collection, huh? In a short amount of time, I've amassed quite a fair collection of solar battery power stations and you know devices that feed off them. So they're really cool for, for me charging my RC car batteries on the field, charging my e-bikes when I'm out traveling out in the truck and camping and adventuring, you know, using my laptop, my coffee maker and whatnot. So today I'm gonna to tell you about one of the cool devices here, the Blue Eddy EB55, a 537 watt hour power station available for about 500 bucks on sale right now for 400 i'm going to tell you 10 great things about it and maybe five not so good things about it and kind of steer who the perfect buyer is for this device all right what is a power station it is in the simplest sense a generator replacement a gas generator replacement but it's so much more and so much less <laughs> so a gas generator uh, is used for by campers they convert gasoline to 110 power uh, they make a lot of noise they've been used forever so these are coming onto the scene slowly but surely they're uh, they're they're coming in but they do that they convert ac power uh, from your house and store it uh, into something you can use at the campsite uh, with with an array of batteries uh, and what determines their price is how big the fuel tank is measured in watt hours but they do more things they get power from the sun uh, they convert it into uh, uh, dc power put it stored in the battery they get it from your car they get it from anywhere they can uh, and store it in your uh, in in your battery so you could use it later so the first best thing about it is it uses lithium phosphate batteries inside so the traditional charging stations use lithium-ion batteries in about 700 cycles meaning full charge to full drain they start losing their capacity less than 80 percent of what they were uh, originally spec for you know much like your iphone but with the new technology lithium iron phosphate it can go 2500 full charge cycles so what does that mean? It means you don't have to worry about it. Basically, if you drain this every day and, and charge it back up, it could last you six and a half years. So, you know, 365 days in a year. So it's something that's future-proof. You don't have to worry about um, uh, damaging or deteriorating your battery. The second good thing about it is it can take up to 400 watts of charging input. So it determines, so this is your charger right here. Uh, it's charged by this brick with a nice fan. Uh, you plug it in to charge it and it will tell you how much it's taking in. So this is a 200 watt uh, AC adapter. So I'll show you right there. Uh, I'm not sure you can see it, but 191, 206 is what it's taking in. So 200, 200. The other uh, source is DC or in our case, a solar panel, a three watt. So this is a hundred watt solar panel at best sun you know they can they, they can get 80 watts um so they don't really put out 100 so it's putting out three right now it's just early in the morning and you can use it in conjunction with this so 400 watts is, here, is the total rated but uh what i've seen is 360. Uh, there seems to be a limit on on the solar capacity uh, input of this device so because of that 400 watt input capacity that means it can charge from fully empty to full charge in under three hours which is pretty good the third good thing about it is it can handle up to 700 watts of drain so that means it can handle your powerful devices you know like a like a like a heater coffee maker soldering iron a drill or whatnot so let me demonstrate so this is a a watt meter is what I use to test. The Milwaukee heat gun, very power hungry. Um, to use our AC, you have to turn it on. So it's telling me that this device is taking 400 watts of power. The Bluetti itself is, is saying 375, so it's kind of underrating uh, the, real, the real output. Um, and then, and what's really cool is it's rated for 700, but we've seen it go to 760, uh, a device, and uh, you know, it, it keeps going. And they say with, you know, with drills and whatnot, uh, with a big startup, with a big surge, it can take up to 1,400 of surge energy, you know, uh, and it won't shut down. The fourth cool thing about it is it's small, it's flat, and it's got this nice handle. So good ergonomics uh, on this thing. Uh, so 16 pounds, easy to 
yeah, very portable and you can stack them too. So very nice form factor on, on this Blue Eddy. Doesn't occupy a lot of space. Number five is it comes in three colors, three kind of cool colors and you know, they're kind of making it fun, kind of, kind of making it hit for the young crowd. The sixth good thing is it's got 13 ports. It can take a lot of, you don't need extension cords and whatnot. And so they're all here. Um, and you know, you also have wireless charging up on top. Number seven is it's affordable. It's easy on the wallet, 500 bucks. It's not bad. And right now it's on sale for 399, but I've seen it on sale like almost every month now because it's about a year old, really good value for the money from a good brand. Number eight, uh, you know, the, all these power stations, they do, they have claims and they have actual output. Uh, and actual output is determined by, you know, their, uh, how good their specs are, how good their inverter is. There's always power loss when you're converting from battery power to AC power. And this one is rated at 537 watt hours. We measure the output using this device. It totals the output over time. And it said, it said 466 watt hours on par, you know, about 87% efficient with actual output to claims. Next cool thing is it has a light, an ambient light. Um, a lot of them have little flashlights and whatnot, but it's really, that's, that's pretty dumb because you're not going to carry it around like a flashlight. You know, these things are big. Uh, so our ambient light is here and it's fairly big. As a camp light, you have something that's really handy, maybe an emergency light and really it's never gonna run out of battery <laughs> and the 10th good thing about this is the brand the support and the reputation of a brand like bluetti uh, that's worth quite a few quite a few bucks in 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 my book um, because you know when you call them if you have a problem uh, if you need a solar panel or uh, kind of accessories they have it and if you have a problem they're there to help you all right what didn't i like about this blue Etty? Um, number one, I, I'll give you five things, you know, just to be fair, just to be a, a little bit balanced. Uh, number one is this display is small, it has limited info and it keeps turning off. So there you have to keep pressing a button to see your display. But you know, there's just not a, a lot of information here. A lot of these other, other ones, they, you know, they have some, some, some nice graphics. They tell you how long, how many hours you're going to have left based on your current usage. Um, and, and whatnot and it should stay on you know this thing i know you're trying to say battery but this thing does not use any <laughs> any battery <laughs> the next con is it uses an adapter brick like this one so this thing is huge so you know to be honest uh, 15 pounds uh, 16 pounds you have to add the weight of this if you wanted the system weight uh, so uh, and a few of them now they hide this inside they integrate the fan the circuitry and the case and whatnot so uh just just know that this is not complete what's good is you could carry this you could charge it at home you can carry this out with you when you're out rcing and whatnot this is my rc charger by the way i should plug it in it's it's fairly big and powerful but it also has a fan that's always on so once you plug it in it's just on the whole time so you have you basically have to unplug it if you don't want that noise next con is the battery fuel tank is in 20 percent increments so it's very limited you know it, imagine if your iphone told you your battery level at 20 percent increments you don't know if it's one percent or 20 percent uh, and it's more important uh, to know your 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 rate of use or when you're really getting getting close to uh, running out of power fourth con is there's newer technology now you know things are moving so fast this was le leading edge a year ago now you know you know, there's some new stuff now, like that one right there. The EB3A is the, the leading edge of, of uh, Blue Eddy. Click here for, for that review that I did, but it shows you some of the new technology that you're showcasing, a built-in uh, brick, uh, a built, you know, an, an app, uh, all, all some, some nice telemetry uh, in that thing. And the last con maybe is it could use more USB-C ports, uh, four USB ports one USB-C. USB-C is kind of the wave of the future. So it'd be nice to have more of that. I'm sure you could have a little adapter uh, to spread that out. It's got 100 watts, but uh, I think it'd be nice if you didn't have to use these adapters. All right, thanks for that, guys.